And this is a big news which is coming in, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the troubles for Delhi Chief Mr. Arvind Kejriwal can mount from here. The Lieutenant Governor has recommended a national investigation agency probe, an NIA probe, against uh, Arvind Kejriwal. The LG has uh, these allegations, uh, which were in fact made by certain uh, individuals and uh, political parties ahead of the Punjab elections, uh, which happened in 2021. The Lieutenant Governor uh, has in fact now gone ahead and recommended the uh, probe by the National Investigation Agency. The allegations were that the Ahmadni Party received political funding from Khalistani groups. Now, a complaint. Uh, was, in fact, uh, sent to the Lieutenant Governor of uh, Delhi, alleging Ahmadni Party got $16 million uh, in campaign funding. Now, this becomes a very, very serious charge and also, uh, you know, a fresh, in fact, chapter, a fresh round as far as the battle between uh, the Lieutenant Governor and, of course, the government of Delhi is concerned with the Ahmadni Party now facing serious trouble with this NIA probe recommendation. Uh, let me bring in uh, our uh, managing editor, Nikunj Garg, who is joining us with more details on this. Nikunj, NIA probe against a sitting chief minister. This A is unprecedented. B, these are serious charges. Well, these are dramatic developments indeed, Ankit. Uh, this, is, this, this comes just hours ahead of a, a Supreme Court hearing, which is supposed to conclude tomorrow, in which it is it was earlier opined by the bench that they may consider giving an interim bail to Mr. Kejriwal. Uh, due to the fact that ongoing poll process for the Lok Sabha election 2024 is on. C slightly ahead of that, hours ahead of that, actually, Lieutenant Governor of Delhi, Mr. Saxena, has written to the Ministry of Home Affairs that he recommends from his side a national investigation agency probe. And unlike the uh, Central Bureau of Investigation probe, where the state concurrence is required, I do not think that any kind of further concurrence is required. So a NIA probe against Mr. Kejriwal is now supposedly a done deal because in the CBI probe matter recommendations, there is an additional layer of approval that is required from the Department of Personnel and the Ministry of Home Affairs in case of Delhi. But in this case, it would not be required. So these are dramatic developments, unprecedented uh, you know, the developments here, never before in the history of this country, history of independent India, this has happened that uh, an IA probe has been recommended against the sitting chief minister, uh, and that's in the sitting chief minister of the national capital. So, uh, uh, it, from the from the from the sheer fury of the uh, sheer fury or sheer scale of the developments, uh, this is, as I said, epoch making. This is uh, uh, unfortunately, fortunately, history being made here. Uh, and uh, uh, whether or not uh, the NIA probe yields anything or not, but there's a begin with, uh, there's a fact that it has been appended, there's a pen drive that has been appended to the complaint, uh, the, the lesson that the site is used in detail about uh, the fact that why he be recommending a left probe against the city chief minister, uh, or that to the NIA probe, uh, this quite clearly, quite clearly is right. dramatic National Investigation Agency, uh, you know, it, it goes across the country and uh, is seen uh, as uh, uh, an agency which uh, 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 investigates uh, anti-terror or anti-India activities. But Nikunj, uh, you know, very quickly, uh, what does this mean for the Chief Minister now? A recommendation has been sent. NIA starts investigation. Does this mean that they will uh, register or, uh, you know, some... Uh, under some stringent sections uh, like the NSA uh, on Mr. Arvind Kejriwal? Well, uh, not necessarily. They are not uh, necessarily the custodian of the National Security Act, but certainly they are the custodians of the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act, which is the UAPA, and which in itself is quite a stringent act, many dub it as onion. Uh, the fact of the matter is that if they register a case, they will have to register a case under the sections of the um, Unlawful Activities Protection Act, which is obviously the country's omnibus overarch and terror act uh, currently in uh, force. So, therefore, uh, the, the sections quite clearly are not going to be to begin with in the pro mind. And uh, obviously, whether those allegations stick or the pro find something in, in those, uh, something merit, uh, something meritorious in those allegations uh, is complete, something completely different. But as of now, as I said, this is. These are dramatic developments, unprecedented in the history of independent India. A sitting chief minister facing now going to face the probe from the National Investigation Agency, anti-terror agency, of, uh, national anti-terror agency, uh, as recommended by the lieutenant governor of the country. And that to all in the midst of the whole season.